Okay, welcome to the uh, welcome to the sixth episode of the Fractal Cosmos. And in this episode, we're going to introduce time into the universe. We already covered a little bit about time with respect to any particle and its rate of vibration. However, there's another way to measure time in any one of these universes. Let's take this universe that has a radius of r0, r subscript 0, that's our universe, the physical universe that we see, the astronomical universe, has a radius r0 which is estimated to be 13.7 billion light years. Now this time, uh, this uh, distance measurement is very convenient because we could take it r0 and divide it by the speed of light, which is one light year per year, and we end up with a value of t0, which is 13.7 billion years. So that's a that's a uh, a uh, unit of time, okay? Just like we um, have a time standard of a, on a clock, we measure time in seconds. You could also measure time in terms of the time that a travel takes for a uh, signal of light to go from the center of the universe to the outer edge. And what's unique about that unit of time is it doesn't depend upon the frequency of vibration of the individual atoms, which might not be constant but it's a fixed amount of time. No matter when you measure this time, whether you measure it in the very early universe or you measure it today, it's going to be an absolute amount of time. Okay, we call it years, but it's really a time unit of T0, one T0. That's the unit of time. Now, um, when you compare that time, with this frequency of vibration of the atom, you come up with some very interesting equations, which I think um, are some of the most memorable equations of this entire fractal cosmos theory. And um, in the next episode, I'm going to show you that equation. And I would strongly advise, if you're interested in uh, following some of the reasoning in more detail, uh, read chapter four of my father's treatise, The Physical Nature of the Universe or read some of the papers that I wrote that elaborate on this treatise a little bit. Um, these can all be found at fractalcosmos.com.